and corner will climb high. So that is how we play cone to punch. So going back, okay, we've talked about how we play bracket. We've talked about how we play cut in terms of the passing game. We've talked about how we play stealer, and we've talked about how we play cone to poach. Okay, we've talked about playing how we play cone to poach. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through some things on the board and talk about some more specific concepts, more specific concepts and kind of instances that you have to consider um, when playing man max court. So the first thing you have to consider, and I want to talk about kind of before I get into anything else, is what the heck is a sale technique? So I talked about that earlier, right? When three goes out in stealer, when three goes out in bracket, um, the corner when he's split and top down, what is a sale? A sale technique to me, if the ball's over to my um, to my right, okay? A sale technique to me means I'm gonna flip my hips like I'm a cover to the corner with my body facing the quarterback. I have a zone hip angle, a zone hip angle, okay? I'm gonna split it from top down, but by keeping my hips towards the quarterback, I can see the top portion of the route to the bottom portion of the route and always leverage the deeper route, okay? So that is a sail technique. So if I'm a bracket strong safety and three is fast, and three is fast, draw this on the board real quick, okay? Three is fast, corners and mag, three safeties here, strong safeties here. Three is fast and flat right now, bang. The strong safety will flip, make sure his hips are at the zone hip angle towards the quarterback, and he'll play top down. So when we get something like flood, we can play deep to short. Notice I did not say we're playing curl flat because we're playing a man match principle. Okay? If we were playing zone match, I would say we're playing curl flat because I want to designate the areas of the field we're going to be in. But because we're playing a man match principle, I don't want to dictate, I don't want to dictate areas of the field. I want to dictate the technique. So I'll just say we're going to use a sail technique. When we sail, the reason I like to play bracket this particular way is now when three goes fast, the free safety can get width on the number two receiver. So three's fast, I'm gonna to try to get outside of the number two. So I'm gonna get width and depth towards the number two. The Mike backer, when three's fast, is gonna go cut the two. So he's gonna to start to build the fence on the number two receiver. Well, what is this exactly like? When we play Steeler. So once I teach the fast three in bracket, I have essentially taught how to play Steeler. Okay? The reason I like to do this is because, and it's easier to see in three by one when we're playing Steeler, this is the whole reason I prefer to play Steeler and I don't like to zone with the mic backer. Okay, so let's say he's apex aligned. The mic backer's in an apex alignment, five yards off, the corner's in meg. Okay, that strong safety's five by one, outside of two. Free safety's gonna be right now 10 by two outside the number three receiver. When three goes to the flat, bang, okay? That strong safety is playing top down, okay? And they want to run the seven cut. Let's say they want to run snag. He's gone, okay? If you have the mic backer zone up, envision the quarterback on the number when three goes out, okay, and two is vertical, the free safety has to play inside out on the number two receiver because he has to be able to protect the bang in in the middle of the field, right? If you zone up and vision QB, otherwise they're just gonna run snag bang in for a touchdown, okay? So that means the free safety has to play further away from the number two receiver so he can play inside and on top inside and on top. 
If they can catch it and throw it, they're going to complete the corner route every single time because they're running away from you. They can catch it and throw it. They're going to complete the corner route every single time because you got to protect against the bang eight. However, when I play it like Steeler and I have the mic backer to cut the two when three is out, what does cut mean? I'm going to play robber from the bottom to the top. So I'm going to build the fence, playing that inside trail all the way down the field. So the free safety when three goes out can play like half over one, just like we did in cut. He can overdrop and get outside of the number one or of the number two receiver, of the number two receiver, because he knows if they run the bang eight, the Mike backer is going to be behind him to take the bang eight. So now we have a chance versus the corner route to win the down. Because I can aggressively push for depth and width outside the number two. That's why I prefer to play Steeler with the mic carrying the number three and cutting the number two, then zoning up or rerouting the number three on the vertical and then zoning when number three's out. 